hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. Today, we have a whipping chat for you. Um, whoa, choking on air again. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Lindsay. I do mainly diamond painting and some other crafting related content, and I would love for you to like, subscribe, hit the bell, hop aboard the Hot Mess Express. Let's all be friends. If you've been here before, hi, welcome. Um, if you are new to whipping chats, uh, whipping chat is when I work on my current whip, WIP, which is work in progress. You can pull out whatever it is that you are working on and work alongside with me. Um, it can be a craft project. It can be another house. It can be a household project. Um, while you're doing chores, while you're doing dishes, while you're doing laundry, while you are meal prepping, while you are, I don't know, anything you want to be doing. Um, I have people tell me they listen while they drive. I have people tell me they listen while they're working. They listen while they're pretending to work. Um, whatever it is you want to be doing, there is no right way or wrong way to whip and chat. Um, so now that we got that out of the way, I am working on, this is Heart on Her Sleeve. This is an Oraloa kit. If you would like to see the unboxing for this, it is a couple years old, but I will link that up in the eye. Um, so, okay, before I get super into this. So this is the image. All of the black in this canvas is 310 AB, which this is what that looks like. Um... And I've seen some of the completed ones, and then I've talked to people who have regretted not changing it out. I have done, this is like her shirt right here in the AB, and I'm not sure if I feel like I want the hair to be AB, or if I want like her arm, uh, but that would mean I'd have to take a bunch of this off. I'm just not 100% sure what I'm doing on it. To be completely honest with you guys, I'm probably lazy in the fact like I don't I don't want to work I don't want to put in extra effort like I just want to get it done and then move on um I am doing this as a little fun project with Chris I'm sorry with Kel from Chris and Kel geez I can't talk um Kel is doing a cross stitch from version of this and um we were chatting about it and she's like yeah, this is the one I'm doing. And I looked at it and I go, I think I have the same kit. And she's like, oh, really? Wouldn't it be fun if we worked on them at the same time? So she's already started her progress, which you can follow over on the Chris and Kel Instagram. Um, but I thought it'd be fun for Kel and I to both be working on our heart on her sleeves at the same time. And then kind of see how different the cross stitch charting is versus the Oraloa charting um so i will say as i mentioned this is an older kit from oraloa um i believe so when this came out they were still a newer company and a lot of people were like oh why is there ab's for all of this ab's if you don't know what an ab is i know i showed the drill but it is an aurora borealis so it's a, dr a drill that has that holographic coating on it and it um flips to whatever color so this one the blacks tend to flip a lot of blue purple and green like very mermaid-esque and so they're not really meant to be like the main color of something they're really more for like highlighting or accenting um and so a lot of people didn't love that and they offered anybody who wanted it replacement just plain 310 i there's a part of me that thinks that I might just completely rip all of these off and just just do plain 310 throughout the whole thing. Um, I've got two of these large containers full of it. And, like, don't get me wrong, it's really pretty, but it's not practical for this. And, like, I think it could look really nice in the hair itself, but not as the main outline. So, for right now, what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to work on the other colors and see if it's uh an undertaking that I want to do I find it really difficult when I am looking at the canvas to be able to tell like where her shirt ends and her arm begins like obviously I can see that this is like the line for her arm but how much of this needs to be arm versus shirt I don't know um and like there's sleeves right here for her shirt that I think it could be cute, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I think that being fully AB is just too much. But trying to make it work with AB and 
regular 310 is a lot more work than I want to. I think I'm one of those people, like, I love adding extra drills to a canvas, but I don't, I am not good at it. I am not somebody who can just look at something and easily be like, oh, I'm going to replace this. I'm going to use this kind of drill. And the reason I think I like just plain old diamond painting as charted is because I don't have to think. And I think that's kind of making me realize that, like, maybe I should just rip those all off and start anew. We'll see because, like, I already spent an hour diamond painting and now it's going to be like, well, I'm going to have to, like, redo that. I don't know. Anyway, how are you guys? I hope that you guys are all well. Um, we have had a fun little week here, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. I just, I know I was talking a little bit about this in my last webinar. I think I was talking about this. So my daughter, we have a Google Mini in her room, and she calls it the Goodle. Um, and now she's figured out that she can ask the Google to tell her little, like, stories. So she just asks it to tell her a story. She'll just, like, sit on the floor and ask it a story or knock-knock jokes. Um, and it's actually been really, really sweet. But she's asking it some of the most random questions. Like, she asked it if a jellyfish has a brain. And, um, asked it, like, where does... the hell was that? Did you guys see that? Um, like, where does a snail poop out of? And I was like, so if you guys... Okay, what the F? There is a little bug that just landed on my canvas. Let's get you out of here, bug. That's fun. This is real life, people. The little ant just, like, flew out of nowhere. I don't know if it was ant or what, but now it's gone. Bye. Be gone. Um, oh, Lord. This is going to be any indication of how this is going to go. I hope not. Um, anyway, so she was asking it, like, where does a snail poop out of? Or, like, where... Where's the belly button of whatever animal? And she was bummed because they took away the animal of the day. It's just really funny to see, like, given that kind of freedom, like, what does she do with it? Um, and right now she has discovered she can ask for ballet music. Um, I love it. She keeps calling them ballets instead of ballerinas. Uh, and so she just turns on ballet music, as she calls it, and just dances around her room. And that's, that's how we've been spending the last couple days. But we actually had spring break this week. Um, it was shortened because we had a snow makeup. We had two snow makeup days, uh, which is super annoying. Also, we got the calendar for next year. You guys, I know I've complained about this. We had three built-in days to our calendar this year that if the kids missed school for snow, these are the days we make them up. Okay, fine. Whatever. Not a big deal. I know where they are. We can make it happen. The thing that I don't like, I'm going to zoom this up a little bit here, is that, um, like, if we were to miss another day, which, God willing, we don't have any snow days in April, but you never know, um, is that next year they decided we're only going to have two. And then after that, if there's a snow day, then they do like a virtual makeup day, which let me tell you, as the mother of a six-year-old, the last thing I want to do is have to do like school on a tablet with her. Um, I know like some kids thrive on that, but I can't see it being really beneficial at this age. Um, and, like, next year, she's not going to be that much older. You know, it's not going to be like, oh, all of a sudden, we're a totally different kid. No, it's still going to be... All right, I'm going to turn her down just a little bit. But, anyway, I hope that you guys all had a wonderful week. Um, anyone who celebrated Easter, I hope you had a wonderful Easter. Hope you spent it with people that you love and care for. Um, we do not celebrate Easter. However, we did go to my brother-in-law's um i'll tell you guys about that in a little bit here but um so last sunday i had written down that we went to duncan and hung out i don't know um i think it was just briar and i because we took brian to work and then she wanted duncan and she discovered even though she's had him before the uh the little stuffed cream cheese stuffed bagel bites or whatever they're called um, and she quite enjoyed that, but 
Um, yeah, this canvas, how big is this? 66 by 47. Okay, not too bad. Um, so technically right now is also the Hanathon. You guys, you guys, okay, you guys, you guys. Um, if you've been around for any length of time, you already know my thoughts and feelings on um, events. Um, please, like, this is just my little PSA mini rant, and then I'm going to move on. But there is nothing less satisfying in this world. No, that's probably not true. But there's nothing less satisfying than wanting to participate in an event and not being able to figure out how. For the love of all things, stop complicating it, people. Stop complicating it. On Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, whatever it is, just make it easy. So the event started today in real time. And I had commented in the Facebook group, is there any information on this? Because I clicked on the featured section of the um, Facebook group. And all the posts that were in there were a couple years old. There was something about a point system. I have no idea. I went to click on a Google Doc to see if, like, it had any more information and, like, I could register or whatever. And it said the Google Doc was expired. Here's the thing. If you have old things in your featured tab on Facebook especially things that have expired, remove them. Either hide the post or take them out of the featured because that's where people are going to find the highlights. I went on the host Facebook or Insta or Jesus, Lindsay, um, onto their YouTube channel thinking maybe there was a video that I could watch in double speed to find out how to actually participate. Nope. Um, and I get that this is an event that has been around for a couple years, but at the same token, there's another Hanathon happening next month in the Hannah Lynn Diamond Painting Group, not affiliated with the one that's happening right now. Um, and I was just like, <sighs> so I am participating in the sense that, um, I didn't seek out an event to work with my canvases. It just happens that I am going to be working on a Hannah Lynn at the same time as a Hannah Lynn event. Kind of like the Spangler. Like, I didn't seek out to participate in the Spangler event, but it just worked out. But if you are running a Facebook event, it does not matter if it's a diamond painting. If you're running anything on Facebook and you have things that are out of date or are no longer relevant in your featured tab, just remove them. You can keep them up as a regular post and just unpin them, whatever it is. I know, I know, I know. But for me, it is really frustrating because I had to literally wait until this afternoon to figure out, like, what the basic rules were. Like, my kit was new, so I wasn't worried about, like, working on... But I didn't know if I had to, like, start with a... Uh, a lot of uh, events now do, like, the secret word or whatever i don't want to have to play games to figure out how to participate i just listen this is my long-winded rant to just say like just simplify things for diamond painting events if you want people to participate whatever it is whoever the host is whatever it may be if you want people to participate make it straightforward make it simple like seriously i and absolutely no shade or hate to whoever the hosts are. I'm just saying, like, I shouldn't have to post and reach out to multiple people to, like, figure out how to participate in a basic, like, startup. I, I don't know. I just, I feel like when I do my events, I always do, like, a little video. I always have a post that says, here's how to participate. Message me, DM me, comment, whatever, if you need further assistance, whatever it may be. And... Um, I guess it is what it is. I just, it's frustrating because I want to also support other creators in the things that they are doing. Um, but it makes it really hard for me to like go onto my Instagram or YouTube or Facebook group and be like, Hey everybody, participate in this event that I want to participate in, but I have no idea how to participate in. Does that make sense? I, I, it just probably sounds like I'm just complaining a lot, but, um, I, I've said it before, like, I don't, I don't want to have to watch somebody's video, or, I, I just want it to be straightforward, um, and also, like, this is a little bit of, like, a personal request, um, 
I, I get why people do it, but I don't want to give you my personal information to participate. If I win, you can contact me. I'll give you my personal information, okay? Like, I don't... I've noticed that as being, like, more and more as being a trend where just for the starting doc, people are asking for your full name and address. And call me crazy, but, like, I don't want to give that to people. Um, because all it takes is the wrong person to accidentally release that information and I'm not saying that because I think like I'm a big deal and people are going to want my home address but like I wouldn't want that to be slipped out anywhere not just th uh, diamond painting stuff like I have a real life and a real family and I just I don't know I know why they do it people do that when they host an event because it makes it easier if you win to just already have your information but my thoughts and feelings behind this are pretty simple if somebody is wanting to participate in a manner where they are hoping to win a prize then they provide you with whatever method is the most effective to get a hold of them and if they don't respond to you within you pick a time frame 24 to 48 hours then you move on to the next person because if you really want a prize that badly then you'll respond to the email or the dm or whatever it may be um just my thoughts and my theories and let me know what you guys think down below are you guys participating in any events in april here i know that there is the um jaded gem diamond painting event and i have a jaded gem shop kit that i have yet to open and unbox for you guys which um i feel like i probably should do that and then there is a halfway to halloween event that um is it's no prizes um it's just for people who want to work on halloween or fall themed kits and don't want to wait until halloween or the fall and i think that's great and one of my kits from jaded gem is actually a kit that would fit that so like i've thought about that um i want to get i want to work on that other diamond artisan kit that i recently unboxed if you guys didn't see that i will link that up for in the eye for you guys let me mark that down um i did diamond artisan let's see Lindsay. um i unboxed a new kit that brandy had sent me and it is absolutely stunning and i cannot wait if you guys haven't seen it i cannot wait to share it with you um but i think i want to work on that soon but i have i have so many i feel like i say this a lot like i wish that i could be more organized and like what i want to work on next or what direction i want to move but Part of me is like, oh, that would be a great idea, Lindsay. Why don't you work on that kit for this Halfway to Halloween NJ to Gem Shop event? And I'm like, do I really feel like working on those right now? I don't know. But um, there's definitely more events. I'm just, there's a unicorn event that Ashley is hosting. Um, I'm just trying to think of what I like remember seeing on Instagram today. I think... <sighs> I think I prefer staying on Instagram for events. Um, it just, I don't know. I feel like it, I feel like Facebook events, they have the potential to be a lot easier because everything's in one centralized location. I just feel like a lot of times they're not managed that way. They're like, hey, here's a random post. Everybody put your pictures up. And then you're like, I don't know if it was accepted or if they saw it or if, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just rambling. I hope that you guys all had a, lo a lovely week. Uh, Monday, my kiddo took the bus to school because my husband worked early so that I could go to craft night. Um, which, you guys, she got to the parking lot and I told her she wasn't allowed to climb the tree, which she keeps climbing this one damn tree. And I'm like, girl, get out of the tree. And then she started to run and I was like, great. This is going to make for a really not fun morning. Um, thankfully, she ended up having a really great day. And um, that worked out well because you never know. You never know. Um, I think I'm just going to rip all of these 310 off. <sighs> it sucks because I like the way it looks for the shirt. But I definitely, like, I can't tell where the shirt ends and her skin begins. Like this right here, this heart has to go. Um, and then I guess that would stay. I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't know. Um, but yeah, so my husband took her to the rink. So the problem is craft night and ice skating, excuse me, overlap. And so when my husband works till 530, um, I can't do craft night. Craft night is once a month, you guys, um, because I can't be in two places at the same time. And so on those days, he usually is off or works like the really early shift. So it was really nice that I was able to go. I had a lot of fun. I was working on my Ninja Turtles. If you guys saw the video um, that I just posted, uh, you heard me talking about this. If you haven't, I will link that one up in the eye. I did a complete, um, Ninja Turtle unboxing, post-review, like, speed unboxing, speed post-review for each of the four turtles from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collection that Diamond Art Club dropped with their little diamonds, um, and it was so much fun. I... It only took a couple days to get all of them done, and I took one of them with me to craft night, and I didn't get nearly as much as I would have liked to have gotten done, because I was uh, chatty Cathy and socializing, and um, it was really evident by the fact that that one took um, like an hour longer than the, <laughs> the other ones. Uh, they're all the same size, and I really, I really... These little diamonds collections are really cute, and I, if you guys haven't checked them out, I highly recommend checking them out. But check out that video. Uh, I made it in a way that you can, like, choose your own adventure. You can pick and choose what of the eight videos you want to watch, or you can watch them all. So if you only want to see the unboxings, or you only want to see the post reviews, you can click to those. If you only want to see a specific turtle, you can click to that. Whatever you want to do. I tried to make it really straightforward, and, um... Let me know what you guys think of that. I know it's not my normal content. I mean, yeah, I do unboxings and I do um, post reviews, but I don't do like speed videos. Um, yeah. And all I could think of just now when I said that was Lightning, Lightning McQueen, just going, ka-chow. Um, so, yeah, I got to go and I go with Erica. And I had the best time. It was a lot of fun. I love going to craft night. I, um, I'm very lucky. Um, my daughter, a couple of her classmates, their moms come to craft night. So I'm getting to know them in a, I don't want to say a different capacity. But I am not one of those people that has made mom friends easily. I think making friends as an adult is hard. Um, and I know like a lot of people think like, oh, well, when you have kids, it's so much easier. And it's, it's easier if you either are just looking for surface level friendships and you don't care what kind of like value system somebody has or, um, personal beliefs or, uh, the age difference. I am an older mom and I definitely, like, there was a girl in my kid's class who her mother just turned 30 and, um, like, I am in my 40s and then I saw her talking about, like, her relationship on Facebook and I was like, yo, like, you guys were babies um, and I'm not saying that I don't have friends that are younger and that I can't get along with people who are younger, but, like, let me tell you, if you are, like, in your 40s, have you ever had to, tr like, have a real conversation with somebody who's 25? Um, a lot of times they're just in a totally different place in their life, and that's not a good thing or a bad thing, it just is a thing, and for me, I find it really hard to relate to somebody when I have that many factors going against me. So it's nice that, like, these particular moms, like, we obviously have the crafting in general that we both like, we all, all three of us like, um, and I just, I like being able to hang out, and of course I get to spend my, my one day a month with Erica of Kevin's Creations. I definitely have my phone too low, I just hit my head on it, um, and I've banged the, the pen against it a couple times here, so hopefully that's not been... Too much of an issue. Um, and if it has, I can't really... 
I can't change that at this point. I mean, I can move the camera, I guess. Duh. But anyway, so that was a lot of just rambling to say that, like, I don't really have a lot of mom friends. And um, it's nice when my mom friends are also crafting friends because, you know, and it's funny, the one mom that is there is the complete opposite. She is the kind of person you could, like, drop off on an island and she'll become best friends with everyone. She's just really... She's a very social person, and I'm not, like, not a social person. I'm just not, like, I don't know. If you have children or grandchildren or you're a caretaker, like, you're a babysitter or whatever, do you ever, do you find, I swear, I know it can't just be me, but I swear, like, I take my kid to do events or sporting activities or whatever, and people are like, oh, hi, I'm Landon's mom, or hi, I'm Steve's dad, or whatever. Nobody ever goes, hi. I'm Lindsay, Briar's mom. So I feel like I, especially some of these skating families, like we've skated with them for years. And I don't know, I don't know some of their names. I don't know like any of their names now that I'm saying it out loud, which is very awkward. Um, I'm just going to stick with this uh, tray, I guess. Um, this is one of the, it is probably not visible. It's uh, one of the Halloween trays from Firefly. Guys, I did a whole unboxing and then I never posted it because I was talking about um, the Christmas trays that they dropped and how they come out with these curated sets. And it was a great little video. And then I just forgot to make it go live. And then they stopped selling the Christmas trays because, you know, they needed to be out in time for Christmas. And I was like, well, that's awkward. I can't be like, well, look at these trays you can buy since we're past Halloween. And then I was like, nobody wants to see Halloween trays in January. Maybe they do. I don't know. Um, have I even told you guys, like, anything about this week? Probably not. So, anyway, we had the craft night, and then Erica and I went out to dinner, as we typically do. It is a lot of fun. If you guys are local to us, um, you should join us. Uh, the next day, um, my kiddo went to school. My husband has, so, as the Hershey, as Hershey Park the opening was getting closer, the hours for my husband shift, um, and he all of a sudden now has these shifts where he's not in till like an hour or two or four later than he normally does, and, um, it's not like a big deal, but it's not the most convenient when I have to drop off my kid and then I don't have enough time to really, like, go home and do something. Or I take my husband to work and then I don't have enough time to go home before picking her back up. So that particular day after I dropped him off, I had just enough time to, like, be productive but not enough time to go home. So I went to a local coffee shop. I busted out my diamond painting and I sat there and diamond painted in the wild. I, there was a family that was there and the guy was trying his absolute hardest to not stare while completely and utterly staring at me like a creeper. Um, and I don't mind because like, obviously I know I'm doing something that A, not a lot of people have seen or know what, what it is, but also like I'm sitting in a coffee shop. So I enjoyed that. I have previously attempted to, but nothing that I had was ever like a good size to work on. I did the paint gem kits uh, once out in public and um, I felt a little awkward and also the setup where I was like wasn't really good. So I felt like I was taking up tables that like I didn't need to be taking up. But yeah, I, uh, I did. I enjoyed it. And then I went and picked her up and then... She had an eye doctor appointment, but again, I picked her up at like 1130 from school and the eye doctor appointment was at one. So I didn't really have enough time to go home um, and do a whole lot for lunch and then go to the eye doctor or I had too much time to like go home and be like, let's eat a sandwich. Um, cause you also don't want to let her like get back into her cycle of whatever she's doing or she's not going to want to leave to go to the eye doctor. She loves the eye doctor and they adore her there. They like get the biggest kick out of her. You guys, this kid needs new glasses. Okay, fine. Um, I don't super love that because you know, um, but they were like, oh no, you have a, your frames are covered up to, I think it was $130. 
And I'm like, okay. So we went over, and I, this is how I can tell that my kid is growing. Um, she got her glasses over the summer. And it was very, very difficult for us to find frames that fit her little peanut face. And this time she just like walked over to like the kids frames and like put every pair on. They, they looked cute on her. I have never in my life seen anyone. I know this is me being biased, but I've never seen anyone who looks so cute in every pair of glasses they put on. I'm like, what the heck? So she is bougie and picked out a pair of Dolce and Gabbana <laughs> frames. She got purple frames with purple glitter and um, like the most normal quote unquote pair that she tried on was a pair of pink tortoise shell frames, but she was trying on the bright colors. I made her try on a pair of yellow glasses. I love her in yellow. I, it just, it suits her skin tone really well. Um, of course she didn't want them. She wanted pink or purple or both. And so she is very, very excited. Uh, those should be ready. I think next week, I think they said it takes two weeks. So, and they're going to be purple transition lenses um, which I learned, did you guys know that transitions don't work in the car? I didn't know that. I was like, well, that defeats the point of having them. But apparently the UV coating that they put on windows in cars, it, it like doesn't register because of that. And, um, cause it doesn't register that there are UV lights to need to change. So that's fun. Um, so we just got cheap glasses. We went to Walmart afterwards and just picked up a pair of like cheap plastic sunglasses that she can wear on top of her glasses. Um, and then when she's at school, she doesn't have to worry because they'll transition when she's outside. But they were like, oh, yeah, girl, you want a job? And she's like, yeah, I'll be back. And they're like, OK, make sure you come get your paycheck. And so she like went around telling everybody like I work at the eye doctor now. And I'm like, girl, <laughs> you guys, she's such a hoot. Um but I can't believe that, like, it just feels like yesterday she got her glasses and they were so big on her little face. Now she's growing, you guys. We, uh, we went to my brother-in-law's for Easter and I wanted to ask them. They strike me as a family that would have a scale in it. So I'm very curious to see how much she weighs. Um, and not because I'm, like, obsessed with my kids' weight or anything like that. We just... Like, she wants to know if, if she can sit in a booster. And I'm like, girl, you're not big enough for a booster. So, that's one of the things. Also, I should probably know because we need to get new ice skates. That's a totally different story. Um, and the last time we went, they asked me a question about the ice skates. And the next level boot is for, like, 40 pounds and up. But also, depending on your skills. And I'm like, mm, I wonder if we need to go up a boot now. Um, but I will find out. And I don't know how much she weighs. So... We've joked before about, like, taking her to, like, the produce scales um, and just putting her on. Obviously, she's bigger than a produce scale now, but she wasn't for a very long time. Um, yeah, so we did that, and then um, it was really fun. You guys, they gave her a little coloring page at the restaurant, which it's we go to it all the time, and she was, like, reading the pages. It was really cool. Um, it's definitely starting to click, and... I, I said to her, you know, the biggest thing is, like, when she doesn't know a word right away, um, she doesn't want to put in the effort to read it, which I understand that, but not every word in your life is going to be one of your sight words. Like, you're going to be reading words, and you're going to sound them out, and they're not going to sound anything. Like, we we read the word sugar on a sugar packet today, and she just looked at me, and she's like, why is it a sh sound if it's just an S? Girl, I don't know. The English language is awful. Um... And you don't realize these things until you have a small child asking you these questions and you're like, yeah, it really doesn't make sense, does it? Like, why is a K silent in the word knife and night? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't make up the, the reading rules and the literacy laws, but it is what it is. How am I on time? Okay. Um, but yeah, so after my husband was done work, we picked him up. We went out and just grabbed some dinner. Um, that was one of those days that because of everything going on, I like, I totally forgot to put something in the crock pot. And so I was like, well, mm, don't know what we're going to do for dinner. Although this week in general has been weird with food because, uh, like my husband was home. And so my kiddo was like, daddy, can you make, and it's like one of the recipes I make. And he's like, I don't really know how to make that. And I'm like, it's not really that hard. You can just use the recipe and make it. 
Um, and like my husband doesn't use the crock pot because he's never had a need to use the crock pot. And I live off the crock pot because, well, our schedule. And so I like said to him, I was like, you know, you could just go through like and find a recipe the same way I did. Um, but a lot of things got shimmied around with, uh, I almost said water because I'm looking for my water. Let me take a sip. Oh, it's full. Mm -hmm. That's surprisingly cold for coming from um, my kitchen. Our cold water isn't really that cold. Um, it's cold enough, I guess. Where are you from? Gray drill. Anyway, so I think that was it for that day. So Wednesday was our last day of school for spring break. We were supposed to be off the day before, but, um, again, we had a snow makeup day. So my husband actually took off her whole break, which was nice, except for Easter Sunday. And that was fine. Um, and it just worked out that way. Um, I need to change the wax in this pen. I don't really feel like it. Um, but so we were talking and my husband and I discussed how we thought she would enjoy the Ghostbusters movie. And we wanted to make sure that it wasn't too scary for her. Uh, so we watched the new, the first one of the new um, I think it was called Afterlife that had uh, Paul Rudd in it and um, she really really enjoyed it so we were like cool so Wednesday we decided to um, watch that movie after school and then Thursday we were all off her vacation officially had started um you guys have you ever been to k-pot i am so excited they are opening a k-pot in harrisburg and i've been waiting for this to be like officially announced the opening date for a very long time like i'm constantly like looking on reddit to see if there's any updates and so i found out it's actually opening next week yay um but we also decided to get tickets and go see the brand new Ghostbusters, which she thoroughly enjoyed. Um, you know, I don't know if the original movies are going to be, like, too old for her. Like, if she's gonna, um, enjoy them or not. But it was nice to be able to see the movie. I thought it was great. I liked the first of the newer ones better than this one. Because it had more, like, story. But the newer one has a lot more of the original characters. So, like, you know, pick and choose what you want. Um... And then afterwards, we just picked up pizza because I was like, this girl's eating popcorn. Um, she's never going to eat dinner. And then I always bring like a couple dye-free snacks so that she can still have candy at the movies and not feel like she's missing out on anything. You guys, I brought, I think, eight snack packs. It was two of the Giggles, which are uh, Skittles, um, two of the fake Starburst, Two of the fake M&M's and two fruit snacks. They're all like the little individual serve packets. Um, I ate none of the fruit snacks. Fruit snacks are not my jam. They're her jam. They're definitely her jam. But she also then like devoured. Uh, I had one of the giggles and I had one of the starburst. And she had the rest. Of all of the snacks. And she had popcorn. So I was like well. I'll be lucky if this kid even takes a single bite of dinner. I knew it. Like it wasn't it wasn't something that I was going into. Going to be like you have to eat dinner. Like I. Listen. It's a you know once in a while thing. Um, but it's funny. We. Uh, we made the big leap you guys. We. Uh, have cancelled our cable. Well. It officially goes into effect later this month because I need to be able to catch up on all the things on my DVR before I erase, before we have to return it and all that stuff. Um, and one of the things, what was I just saying? There was a whole point in me going from one story into the next. Oh, so we're sitting there, we're talking to the customer service rep and my daughter is asking me questions and then she goes, mommy, I see what's up. And she goes, do we have 
peacock? And I just looked at her. I was like, what? And she's like, do we have peacock? And I said, well, yeah. Um, why? And she said, well, one of my friends at school is asking everybody, you know, who has Peacock because she wants to see the new Trolls movie. And the new Trolls movie is only available on Peacock. And she said that if we have it, she can come over and watch the movie. And I was like, is this how kids this age, like how they interact? Or they're like, what streaming service do you have? Like, can I come over and watch that movie? Now, it turns out we have the free uh, version, which does not have the Trolls movie. So she was... Not very happy with me after I told her that because she wanted her friend to come over and watch the movie. Um, but I just, it just made me laugh because it seems so foreign that like this is how, you know. I remember when Netflix was, you pick out your DVD and they send it to you in the mail. Um, also, my daughter just discovered that like mommy is significantly older than Google. And I don't know how she feels about that yet. Like right now she like thinks that it's fine. But like I think one day she's going to be like, What? Um, you know, cause like numbers don't really mean that much when you're little. Um, but yeah, so that was, <laughs> uh, so if anybody has any like tips and tricks, I'm a little bit nervous, but I just, I can't, we can't keep paying what we're paying. It's so expensive. Cable has gotten so expensive. And like, we literally have one cable box in our house with one DVR. We don't have any of the, um, pay channel packages. Like, we don't have HBO, we don't have Max, we don't have um, any of the, like, movie channels. Now, we do have streaming for all of that. And it's like, well, what's the point of us paying for all these streaming services and cable and all these other things? So we drop down, it's just going to be internet and home security. I'm nervous because um, one of the things I like about the DVR is that I don't have to think. I just set it up and it tells me when that show that I want to watch is on. Um, instead of me having to like keep track of what streaming services something is on, what channel it's on, what platform it's on, what like whatever. Um, I don't know. I just, we've been talking about cutting the cord for cable for a while and it just never seemed like the right time to do it. But then when I got the last bill and I was like, I can't, I can't keep, we can't keep spending this much money on basic packages. And also, um, we don't watch TV in our house that much. Uh, like we are not a household that has TV on all the time. Like we went to my brother-in-law's house and there's always some sporting event on the TV. Always. And that's just like how they function in their house. That's totally fine. It's their house. They do what you want, you know? Um, but it is really difficult when, like, we literally come, like, 11, 11.30. My husband and I go downstairs and watch TV for maybe two hours. Maybe. And that's, like, pushing it. Um, so, yeah. Um, Friday, again, my husband was off, so it was really nice. He was able to come with us to certain things. We've been having, as I mentioned in my previous women chat, a lot of like behavior issues at the ice. On Monday, he sent me a message and he was like, listen, this is some of the best skating I've ever seen this kid do. She is really motivated when she wants to be and then really not when she doesn't care. And it's hard because I have not figured out the thing to motivate her. Like, I remember her coach and I were talking the one time and she's like, well, you should reward her if she does a good job. I'm like, she does have a rewards jar. It's not my fault <laughs> if she's like, mm, I don't care. Like, I, I, so I let her pick whatever she wants. Like, I said, within reason. I said, girl, I'm not taking to like Disney, you know, but you fill up your star jar and we'll pick out your reward and that's what we'll work towards. So we have a couple more stars to go and the thing that she wants most in this world is to spend time with me, which is fantastic. Um, like, she's like, Mommy, can we go to a Starbucks date? And I was like, that's really the thing you want to earn for? And she's like, well, I said, and the only reason she said Starbucks is because they have hot chocolate that they make cooler. And she knows that. Um, but she was like, well, can I get my nails done? And I said, yeah, absolutely. And she goes, can I get my nails and my toes done? <laughs> I was like, sure. So she's four stars away from filling out her jar. And then she will get a manicure and pedicure. Um, which she really needs some love on her toes. She won't let me, you guys, it's so weird. She won't let me trim her toenails. 
But I, I can tell you, it cannot be comfortable in her skates the way her toenails are right now. And she just, like, doesn't want me to touch them. And I'm like, ugh. I'm, I, this might be, like, too much feet talk for somebody, but, like, I am one of those people, like, I cannot, if I can feel my toenail against the shoe or whatever I'm wearing, like, I'm done. I gotta, I have to keep mine really short. Um, and when I used to ski, like, I used to, like, trim them every day because I was like, I could feel them against my boot. Um, come to think of it, that's probably a real sensory-based thing for me that I never realized was sensory-based until, um, this exact moment, 45 minutes into my, <laughs> am I with it yet? Um, but yeah, so she did a really good job at her private lesson, which was nice. And then we had surprise plans for her. She didn't know what they were. She just knew that we were going to go do something fun. Um, and we had somewhere to be at a specific time. So for us, we were like, okay, well, what do we want to do for dinner? And at this point it was like four something. So, we ended up going to Texas Roadhouse. It was nearby. It, uh, we assumed it would be pretty quick in terms of food. Um, and I'm glad we went when we did because it was, like, crazy busy by the time we left. But it was, like, the perfect amount of time. And then we got her in the car and we drove off to our big surprise. You guys... Ooh, excuse me, we surprised her with Disney on Ice. We've been a few times now. This is, I think, the third or fourth show we've been to. My husband and I have been really, really lucky that we've gotten some amazing tickets, like, last minute. Um, whether it's through... This time it was through Ticketmaster itself, but we've gotten them through uh, Vivint Seats and things like that, and we got... Um, we were the second row off the ice. So on the ice, they have a couple rows. We've sat on the ice before, and I could not believe the ticket prices we paid for those. Um, and it's really worked out for us in the fact that a lot of times people, they have a kid that gets sick or something like that, and they just have to sell their tickets. And sometimes people are willing to let them go for a lot less than the face value um, because they just want to recoup or they need to sell those seats or whatever it may be. Um, I think it also helps that it's just three of us. I think three seats are easier to find together than four seats. Uh, but anyway, we took her. She had no idea what we were doing. Um, she's been playing dress up in her Rapunzel dress a lot over her break. So I let her know you can wear this. Um, she's like, oh, cool. Thank you. And she had no idea why. And then she saw all these other little girls dressed up in their princess dresses. And she goes, are we going to meet some princesses? I was like, maybe. It was only, like, once we started walking in that she's like, oh, my God, are we going to Disney on Ice? You guys, it was so much fun. In terms of the shows that we've seen, this one was not my favorite. However, Disney on Ice is, it's magical. Um, there's just the sights and the sounds and um, the aerials and, like, aerial, like, in the air, not, like, Ariel the Little Mermaid. Although... They also have Ariel the Little Mermaid in some of these. But she was just in awe. And if you guys are newer here, um, my daughter wants to be a skater for Disney on Ice when she grows up. She's been pretty constant on that um, when she talks about it. She wants to skate for Disney on Ice and she wants to be a vet. And, um, of course, like you can do both of those things if you want, kiddo. But um, it just... It was really wonderful, and then we were sitting there, and it's the Rapunzel act, which was the only one that had the aerial uh, stuff this time, and this Disney on Ice staff member comes up to us and says, do you think that she would like to come up and give the uh, lantern to Rapunzel? And she just looked at me, and I was like, yeah. Yeah. So, she was the only child called to the stage for the whole show. I imagine they do this with every performance. I'm sure it was we were sitting at the end of the row. They saw her in a Rapunzel dress. And it was an easy ask. And, you guys, she was in heaven. She got to go up to the stage. Um, and she, they. I mean, it was on a cord. It's funny because she was like... 
I don't know why it was attached to a string. And then we were like, oh, it's so that it, like, couldn't, they had to control it so it wouldn't catch the, the roof on fire. She's like, well, that makes sense. Like, I don't want to tell her it's completely controlled by this cord. Um, let's leave a little bit of the magic for her. But she got up there, and my husband was really lucky to get footage from where he was sitting. Because from the angle I was, I was just behind her. But her whole body language, when she got to send it off and then give Rapunzel and Flynn Rider a hug, you could just tell, like, this little kid... This is a core memory. Like, this is... She is not going to forget this. This is going to be that, like, thing of, like... Do you remember that time that I got to go to Disney on Ice and I got to set off the lantern and blah, blah, blah? Like, she was just... You always explained this isn't a normal thing. Yeah, and I, and I even said to her, I was like, listen, so, like, next time we come, like, don't expect that to happen again. And, of course, her response was, oh... Like, as if I controlled it. But, um, she was... You guys, she was so excited. And it was such a sweet little moment. And, um, they let me stand there with her, which was nice. Um, I mean, what were they going to do? Tell me to go sit back down and leave my minor unattended? No, I don't think so. But she loved it. And then she was like, this was the best surprise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then of course she had a moment where she's like, I want a souvenir and I want it now. And I was like, nah, girl, the souvenir is that we are here. Like we spent the money to come here. I'm not spending the money to get you a popcorn bucket that you are never going to touch again for $47 or whatever else. Um, and you know, she was mad in the moment, and I just reassured her, like, it's, everything's going to be okay. You're still having a great time. And she's like, yeah. Um, and then she was very appreciative, like, the next day and the day after. Just a lot of, thank you, Mommy. Thank you, Daddy. I had the best time. But um, we did that. It was really great. So Saturday, my brother-in-law had Easter at his house, so we went down. Um, they had ham, which I don't eat ham, but my kiddo, you guys, this kid loves her some pork. Any kind of pork. Um, she devoured the entire serving of ham in what felt like seconds. Um, and then was like, can I get more? I was like, I, sure. Yeah, let's get you some more. Um, but it was nice. She got to spend some time with her cousins. Her cousins are all much older than her. But it was still nice to spend the time with them. And to see his family. We haven't seen his dad in so long. Um, and it just, it was, it was nice. And it makes you, it really apparent, like, my kiddo is the youngest of all the grandkids by, like, a decade. Um, and so the next youngest cousin on that side of the family is a senior in high school. So it was very interesting, but we had a good time. And or high school he said he said or i'm like well that's a big difference but you know um but then his sister who's uh older was suckered into letting my daughter watch bluey on her tablet and i was like okay this is not the first time you've told people like it's okay i said if we don't let you watch tv at home like that what makes you think that we're okay with you watching it on somebody else's tablet? And then, of course, she didn't want to give the tablet back. And I was like, listen, if you ever want to watch something and somebody says you can watch it on my tablet, you ask mommy and daddy first. Because chances are I would have been like, sure, you can watch one episode or whatever. Um, but then it turned into the reason we don't let her watch TV is that she can't transition from that to something else. And that is exactly what happened. Wouldn't you know? Um, but she was a little bit of a wild child on that day, and she was, you know, it was to be expected. There was a ton of people at the house. I'm sure she was completely overstimulated, and thankfully for us, like, we don't do Easter, so she wasn't loaded up on candy and sugar and all these other things the way it was, but the best part was, like, I kept saying to my husband, I was like, are we, like, are we done or is there going to be, like, coffee and dessert? Now, for all I know, there was coffee and dessert. It just wasn't offered while we were there. Um, we did. But a couple of the people left to go shopping. And I don't know if maybe, you know, that had anything to do. Either way, I was just like, I eat a plate of sides for dinner, for lunch, which is fine. But also, like, I'm hungry. And so we ended up stopping. There's a pho place not too far and we ended up stopping there and having that for dinner and um 
my kiddo had a chicken skewer, which, you guys, she devoured the first, like, one in seconds. And I was like, whoa. And then took a couple bites of the next one. Maybe it was two that she ate. Whatever it was, there was one whole one left. And I was like, are you done? Or, like, what's happening here? And sometimes she doesn't want to tell you she's done. Because she, like, thinks she'll get in trouble. Which, fun fact, we have never once ever in her entire <laughs> life told her she needed to clear her plate. Um, I'm a firm believer of, like, letting her learn to listen to her body. Um, that, and I think that many of us of a certain generation or generations um, have at some point been forced to clear their plate and have traumatic thoughts associated with that. So um, I'm going to go to a smaller tray because I can. So this one here was the Inferno Nano. Um, and this one here is like a solid favorite of mine. This is the Switch Mini. Can you guys see that? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so we did that. And then on the way home, I was like, listen, I really want something sweet. So I made him stop and we got something sweet for me. Um, and then we went home. And then Sunday, um, my husband had to work. So my kiddo and I just hung out. And that was pretty much it. This does not look like I'm going to have enough of this color. Um, okay. Well, if I don't, I will contact Orloa um, and see what they say. If you guys did not know, um, I am an affiliate with Orloa. Uh, so if you are ever looking to get a little discount on... Um, a kit from them. I do have a link and a discount code below. You can pretty much figure um, anywhere I have a discount code, it's, it's Sparkle Squad. There's one shop that had a, added a 15 to it, but uh, it is an affiliate code, so if you do use that, it does mean I will make a small commission. Uh, it is never expected. It is always appreciated, but um, yeah, I did want to share that with you guys. So... I, uh, we just hung out, and, um, that was it. I got a bunch recorded, which was nice. Um, like I said, I got those Ninja Turtle videos up, which I really hope that you guys like, you, you check it out, and you like it, and you enjoy it, and, um, yeah, that was a lot of fun for me to, to do, and I hope that you guys, I hope that you guys enjoy it, but I think that might be a good place to stop we are approaching the hour mark here actually i'm under the hour mark here holy moly i'm not under it by much but i am under it but i'm gonna stop the timer um if there's anything that you guys uh want to see any kind of content please let me know i have a couple unboxings that i have not filmed for one reason or another or i have some that i filmed that i never made live which i should probably do but um I know Lori had pointed out, if you guys don't follow her, One Fun Diamond Painter, you should. She had pointed out that she hadn't heard my husband ding in a while, and you guys are lucky because he's in the room. I usually film my whipping chats while he's at work and she's at school on Mondays, but with her being on vacation and him being off of work because she's on vacation, they're both home. So, um, yeah, but that's it. That's all I got for you guys for this one. If you guys enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more videos like this or nothing like this at all, please make sure to give this video two thumbs up. One real life, one virtual. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Come to the Sparkle Squad. And while you're there, hit that notification bell. Dang. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time. And I record when a tiny human is sleeping or sleeping. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>